everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at how I have the small metro convertible backpack all packed up. Hey guys, welcome back. On my channel we talk about everything as it relates to bag reviews, product reviews, and so much more. So if you're new, definitely consider subscribing. Um, today I'm going to show you how I have the small metro convertible backpack all packed up. I recently received this as part of my ambassador box for MZ Wallace, and I am so excited to show you all the goodness of this little bag. Before we jump in to see how I have the bag all packed up, I did wanna show you the little link pouch that I have attached out here on the front. This is just holding my AirPods. So cute. Um, and then it's attached by this little link band. Um, MZ sells both of these, and it has these little D-rings where you can attach additional pouches, and then it just wraps around. Super cute, I will link everything down below for you guys. So I went ahead and I uncinched the bag so you could see the different ways it could be carried. It looks just like a little tote bag, just like this. When you turn it around, are two nylon backpack straps that are not removable. They're anchored in down here at the bottom and then adjustable with this little adjuster right here. They are super lightweight and very comfortable. Also on the back of the bag, you have this little zippered pocket and in this little zippered pocket, you can take a peek at the lining right here. It's this really nice light gray. I just have my card case. This pocket is on the smaller side, so I didn't want to overfill it, but I have my little wallet from Dagny Dover in there. And this pocket is about, let's see, it goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag, but it's not super wide. So I knew I wanted to put something small in there. So that's why I went with the card case. On the front of the bag, you have another little pocket right on the front, um, right below the drawstrings. And in here, I have a lip gloss and my hand sanitizer from Touchland. Um, and then also I have a face mask for me. I like it on the front pocket so I can grab it quickly and easily if I need to. Um, this pocket is a little bit more on the narrow side as well. So it does go down to the bottom of the bag, but you don't have a ton of room across, if that makes sense, um, to get into it. So just kind of keep that in mind also. On the sides of the bag, there are two pockets. I have tried every single size bottle I have short of a plastic water bottle, which I don't keep in the house. Um, and I couldn't fit a, a, any bottle size in there. So what I did instead is I put an extra hand sanitizer. This is the citrus scent from Touchland. And then on the other side, I put a flat package of Kleenex because I figure cold and flu season, it's better to be prepared. So that is what it looks like as a little tote. And then you have the option to cinch it closed like this. And it really changes the way the bag looks. It kind of rounds it out a little bit and it looks so cute, so cute. Um, let me show you how I have it all packed up inside. Now, of course, on the bag, you are still gonna get the MZ Wallace details that we love, like the Italian leather trim on the handle. You have their name in this like matte black hardware, which is really, really pretty. I've never owned a bag that has matte black hardware before. Um, and then on the bottom of the bag, you're going to have the little um, feet on the bottom and then the logo. Okay, so let me show you the top of the bag. So the top of the bag does have that MZ Wallace um, nylon that goes all the way across. Now it is open on the side. So there is a tail that comes out and you can see into the bag right here. So um, like on the Metro Tote Deluxe, on the Metro Totes and such, they zip all the way across and they're completely closed. This is open on either side. In test packing it and taking it out and walking around with it, I haven't had any issue with anything falling out. All right, so it opens big and wide. I love the gray interior on this bag. Um, the very first thing up on top are my keys, and then I have a small Zoe, and this little star pouch is actually just holding um, some toys for my daughter. Um, also down in here, I have a little snack bag for my kiddos. This is from Ziploc. It's just a reusable snack bag. I have a package of wet ones hanging out in there. I have the large pouch it came with the bag. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention that I have attached to the little key leash is a bag light so you can see inside of the bag a little bit better. Never lose your keys again folks. Um, I just have this attached to the little key leash. Um, now this bag comes with the backpack 
And this, if you're not familiar with MZ Wallace, is so that you can store your bag. You can roll up this backpack and stuff it inside this bag and store it. Um, but I'm using it as a pouch with all of my kid gear inside. So in this pouch, which takes up the majority of the room of the bottom of the bag, I have my med kit. And this little kit is full of stuff for my kiddos. Um, everything from band-aids, I have my bug bite thing, I have Advil for me, Tylenol, a little stain remover, Thieves, Neosporin. Um, I even have a little travel deodorant in here somewhere, right here from Native. Um, but anyway, anything that my kiddos could need in case they get they have a, a minor medical emergency. Also in this pouch, um, I have two pull-ups for my daughter who is recently potty trained. I have a um, wipes case, a wet bag for soiled clothes, then I also have my mama hand cream, a foldable hairbrush, and um, these little soap sheets that I've showed so many times over here, but you can actually like wash your hands while you're out and about. And then, like I said, about the trash bags. And then that's the inside of the bag. It matches the interior of the backpack. So now that that is out of the way, on so on the inside of the bag, now that I took out all the, the big stuff, you have these two leather trimmed pockets. I have my pin on one side. And then in the other, I have all of the masks for my kiddos. They don't go out as much as us, so I, I'm comfortable having them inside of the bag. Um, and then on the opposite side, you're going to have that metro pocket that we all know and love, and it is going to have a little slip pocket right in front for a card. On the inside, you have two little slip pockets and then another big area. And in this big section, I have my pill case and I have my travel scissors. And then in these two little slip pockets, I just have a bunch of lip products because <laughs> I'm a lip gloss addict. That is me. Lip balm, concealer, more lip products, and a phone charger. Let me move all this stuff out of the way and give you a better look inside. Okay, one last look inside there, totally empty. That is what the small Metro convertible looks like. Now let's take a look and see what it looks like when I'm wearing it. All right guys, so that is it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see all of you guys again in my next one.